just finished recording that other video. I'm gonna change flannies so you guys get a different flanny in every every vlog. It's a bit. It looks real faded in this in the light though. It like in person it's so much brighter, but in the light it's so much. Oh my god, it's so pale looking in the light. Okay, what is up guys? I am 63Z and I'm here on another vlog for you today. And it is about a certain topic that is very near and dear that I take very hard, very to heart. I take it to heart, I mean. So I'm all about being upfront and telling the honest truth. Even if it's painful, even if it's brutal, I'd rather be upfront and honest than lie. Like I always will be. So. This one kind of came to me, it wasn't as good as the other one, but you know, I don't know how it works out. So people don't tend to get, get the difference between real and honest. Being real is about just being you. Being honest is being honest. If being honest is part of being you, then that's fine, because that's part of being real. I'm real about what I'm talking about. If, I'm, if you ask me a question, say, I tried anal yesterday, and I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know if I did the position right, and you know, I just don't know. Can you give me any tips? And I'll be completely real with the answer. Real to myself and real to the topic. Like, I, I will have no shame. I love talking about sex for one, and I like giving it right. That, that's, an, that's an example, it's not necessarily happened. You know who you are. It's not necessarily happened, but it's an example. And in that example, um, it's like, well, well, did you turn them on their head? Do a handstand, give them a piggyback ride, and then tap their booty three times. I can go into a lot more detail, but that's just an example, right? I love being real with people, and if you can't be real with me, then don't expect me to be real with you, right? And when it comes to things like meeting new people, meeting chicks, meeting guys, meeting family members, meeting your partner's family, or meeting new friends, and meeting little kids, and meeting adults, it's all about, it's all about not lying. Examples here. Lately, I've been meeting new people, talking to new people all the fucking time. Chicks, guys, adults, all of them. I haven't met many kids, but you know, pedophile. So, a good example is, so I met this guy for the first time the other day. He was at Avcom, and he's one of Aiden's friends. And straight up, you know, I ask about him, learn as much as I can. He asks about me, I give him real answers. It's good, it's an embarrassing topic saying, you know, have you two fucked in the ass yet? I wouldn't expect him to tell me the fucking truth. She, he, he had his girlfriend right there next to him. Like, it's not like, I'm not going to say that and expect to be told the truth. There's certain things you can't expect to be told the truth about. Straight up, especially if you don't know the people. Right, so another example is I've met a fair few girls just on like talking to them and getting to know them kind of thing. You know, I'm telling them the truth and it's like, I'm telling you the truth. I expect you to be truthful back. You know, you can't be like getting as much info from me as you can and not expect to tell me about yourself as well. People who don't make an effort to talk is one of the most Oh, one of the one of the things that pisses me off the most is if you don't if you can't if you're not gonna if you're gonna talk to me and you're not gonna put in the effort to ask questions, find out about me like I'm doing for you, and you're not gonna tell me the truth, be honest and be real with me, don't expect me to keep talking to you and care. And when you actually get me to care, and then you start to lie to me and be not real with me, that's when it's like, well, what the fuck do you expect me to do here? You can't be not real with someone. And you can't be dishonest and expect it to be okay. Like that's one of the like one of the main things is one of the chicks that I did start talking. I really quite liked her for a bit, and she was very honest, even if it was brutal. That was a great thing. Even if it's brutal, it's a great thing, right? I'm talking to her. I'm quite liking her. It's been about a week and a half. I quite like her, and she says, "Oh, the other night, well, literally not the other night. I was talking to her. She hadn't talked for about three hours. Like, oh well, oh well, she's just not talking. Whatever. She has a reason." And then she starts talking again at about 11.40 at night. And she just outright says, it's really cold on a golf course. I was like, why do you why do you say that? And she outright says, sex on a golf course. We've been talking for about a week and a half. It's gone off really good. And even though it was probably something I could have gone without knowing, she still told me the truth anyway. Even though I didn't ask her why she wasn't talking or anything like that. She still told me the truth, which is good. Especially if you're trying to go for a relationship with people, telling the truth is a good thing. Details, maybe not so much. If they ask for details, then yeah, tell them the details. But if they don't ask for details, try and stay away from it. But the thing is, that's telling the truth. That's being real with me about what you're doing. That's exactly what I want with someone. Like, you can't just lie to me and expect it to be okay. If you if you want to talk to me, even if you're my friend, like I have friends of like six or seven years, I would drop them like that if they're going to start lying to me. 
Like, I have one friend I've had ever since the start of primary school, right? If he was to talk to me, it's all going good, and I ask him a couple really, like, questions that aren't embarrassing, but stuff that I actually really need to know the answers to, and he lies about all three of them, and I find out he's lying about all three of them, dropped. Straight away. Not like a three strike and you're out kind of thing, but if they, he was just lying to me in general, like to my face, because we've been friends for like over 10 years now, easily over 10 years, even if he was lying to me like that, I would drop him. If he didn't have a good reason for that lie, I'd drop him even faster. It's as simple as that. Doesn't matter who you are, how long I've known you, what you do, where you come from, where you are, where you're going. If you're not gonna be truthful and honest and real, don't expect for me to talk to you. Don't expect for anyone to talk to you and like like talking to you. Being real and honest is something that you gotta stick to even if it means you aren't okay with telling the truth. Because if it's something that it's actually important to, to be told the truth to, like if I say, did you fuck my brother? To let's say, a chick that I started to like. I was like, did you fuck my brother? And she didn't tell me the truth? Straight away, gone. You can't expect me to try as much like as I do with you, because I'd like, here's my level of trying, here's most people's level of trying, and down here is like fucking nothing. Like, there's nothing down here. I've tried like 80% to keep a conversation going, and a lot of the time I'm used to it, people only put in maybe 60%, and the people that go even lower than 40%, I don't even bother with anymore. Like, it's so annoying to have to deal with people who don't even put in half of their effort to put into trying talking to me. Especially if I'm talking to them for a longer period of time. Like, if we've been talking for a, for a week, a week, a week or so, and it's actually good conversations, and you're not putting in any more than 40% of effort, even if you're not even putting any more than 60% of effort in talking to me, while we're talking at a non-busy time of the day, don't expect me to keep talking to you. It's as simple as that. Don't expect anyone to talk to you if you're going to do that. I'm always real and honest. If you ask me a question in the comments below, I'll answer it 100% honestly. Guaranteed. I didn't even know you. I didn't even have to know you. I'll still answer it honestly. If you come up to me and you say something and it's rude or I don't like it, I'm going to be real and say, that's fucking rude, dude. Fuck off. <coughs> I'm not going to say keep it real because that's just a stupid saying that someone online already has. I don't even want that. Even if you didn't have that line, I wouldn't want that. All, all I'm saying is that you got to actually be real with yourself to other people. And you've got to be honest to other people. If you lie, don't expect for it to be okay. And if you lie and you aren't being real, don't expect them to not do it back to you. Because that's a double standard and it pisses me right off. Especially with so many other topics right now I could talk about that I would be so into talking about right now. Right now. Holy shit, that unicorn. The unicorn onesie looks like a fucking ghost right now. Holy shit. That. He looks like a fucking ghost. Holy shit, that's freaking me out. That got really intense for me. The start of it was fine. The end of it just got a bit into it. I, if you're not gonna be honest with me, fuck it. I don't care anymore. Like, I will just drop you straight away. Especially if there's like no time that I've known you for. Don't, I don't care. There's certain standards of things that you need to do and that's something that you just kind of really gotta do. Especially if you wanna like make friends, meet people, and all that kind of crap. Just do it. There's, there's no way out of it. You just gotta do it. Anyway, that's been the video guys before I get really, really into it. Um, if you have not seen the video before this one, it should be the own acting one. Check out my PC setup vlog as well as my PC specs, um, not my setup vlog, my PC build vlog as well as my setup and PC specs vlog. Um, they're set into two. The actual PC build has all the parts that are in it, uh, if you want to specifically look at the parts as they are, uh, but that's not the and all, everything that's in there isn't necessarily the final build of it all kind of thing. Um, if you haven't looked up the case drives video, look that up, as well as a couple other things. Check out any other video video that's in the channel, check out any links in the description. Check out the Avcom vlogs because they should be coming out way soon before this thing. So if this is out before the Avcom vlogs, don't worry, they're coming out hell soon. I'm editing them currently. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. If you have any more video ideas, that are probably a bit more cheery and tuned, um, like cheery and happy and all that kind of crap. Leave them down below. Tweet me, uh, follow my Snapchat. I do post a lot. Um, some are funny, some are not. Some are interesting, some are not. You just get a random thing. I do, I do a fair bit. So if you want to go that, it is same name as the channel, xxx63z. Uh, check out the Twitter, Instagram. I don't post much to the Instagram. I do post little snippets of what I'm actually editing at times on there, not a lot, um, as well as Facebook. Oh, shit falling. Thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Here we go. <laughs> what? Um.